Okay, so we've got this uh, SW20 here that we've got to deliver for, to a local customer. And uh, before we do that, I just wanted to kind of go over a few things. Now, the SW20, like the SW40, they make up the shallow pond systems that Air Max offers. And like most shallow pond aerators, they can use a linear compressor. That's uh, just like you see here. And the specs on this actually, let me go around here, are right here. You can see this is an LR25. It runs on standard 110, 115 volt, 50 watts. The, uh, the key with a system like this is that the diffuser depth should be no more than six feet. That's their max. And this pump puts out 2.5 cubic feet per minute. It is rated to be good with its two diffusers for up to a quarter acre in size. And that is the one caveat with these compressors, linear compressors in particular, they cannot handle great depth. And so you wanna make sure, in most cases, I would say they'll work down to about eight, maybe 10 feet, but no more than that. If you do find that your pond is deeper than that and you're gonna place a diffuser at say 10, 12, 15 feet, you wanna look at a rocking piston powered system. But for shallow ponds, these aerators, these linear compressors are excellent options because they're extremely efficient to run. This one probably costs less than $5 a month to run. It's very quiet. We just tested this for another video we're doing on sound output, but I think from 10 feet away, this produced about 44 decibels, which is quite low. It's actually lower than what a, I'm talking right now would be from 10 feet away. So it's a, it's a very quiet, efficient system. Like all the Air Max packages, it's, it's really one of the only commercial, dedicated shallow pond systems that is full featured like this. It has an excellent poly cabinet. You can see the cover right there. And it comes with a, a intake filter as well as a cooling fan for exhausting any heat buildup that comes into the compressor. You also have a two valve manifold. With all of the commercial systems, you're going to see valve assemblies for a, a dedicated valve for each diffuser that's in the system. And so you wanna have full control over the airflow in this type of setup. It has a receptacle, if you can see that there, where you power the pump and the cooling fan. And actually getting back to the sound output, I think the cooling fan is probably a little louder than the compressor is in operation. And so overall, the system is extremely quiet. This SW40 will power up to two diffusers. And this is the, the diffuser that we're looking at here. And it is a twin stick diffuser, self-weighted base. It also has a built-in check valve right here so it prevents any water from backing up through the lines and damaging the compressor. The other key point about this system, when you see this advertised on all the websites and from Air Max itself, they will have two options to purchase. They'll have a no airline option or without airline, and they'll have basically 100 feet of airline per diffuser. So if you have the SW20, they'll offer 200 feet, two rolls of 100 foot 3 8 if it's the SW40, they'll give you four rolls of 100 foot 3 8 and they can be connected and usually very modifiable to reach out where you want to be. But the cool thing, I guess, or maybe the one drawback from Air Max is that they say if you order a no airline system, it must be 5 8 The reason they do that is if someone is trying to exceed that 200 foot limit on the 20, or the 400 foot limit on the 40. But let's say you're a small pond owner, you've got something smaller than a quarter acre, and you decide, well, I don't need 200 feet of weighted airline. Well, the systems come with two fittings that come off of the pump and go into the diffuser. This one happens to be a 3 8 but it also comes with a 5 8 So if you have a smaller pond where you don't need 200 feet of airline, let's say with the 20 here, Order the no airline, and like if you do from us, you can order the no airline package and 100 feet of tubing and you're still going to be fine and we're not going to tell you that you can't run it that way 
Whereas when Air Max is marketing this system, they make it sound like you need to get at least 200 feet with a system, or if you don't, you're going to have to use 5 8 Well, 5 8 inch airline is extremely costly compared to 3 8 It's It's quite a bit more money. But the thing is, if you have very short runs, you don't need 5 8 It's just if you go over the, ex the noted limits, the 200 and 400 feet, you'll want to go to 5 8 with that kind of a run, but not with the shorter runs. So you can save quite a bit of money just by understanding that it does come with both fittings in the no airline package. So overall, this is a great setup. As I say, it's probably one of the best, if not the best, commercial shallow pond aeration systems that we've ever worked with. It's actually the only one we, we still carry because it's been extremely reliable, good performing, and uh, does a great job. You see a lot of folks with shallow ponds working in the DIY realm. These linear pumps are pretty widely available, but I do see a lot of kind of questionable setups and shortcuts that people take. We've done a few videos, videos on DIY setups and we'll do some more trying to help people do better with their, their custom arrangements. But if you don't want to mess with any of that, you can consider the Air Max SW series, the SW20 for quarter acre ponds up to six feet deep, the SW40 up to half acre ponds six feet deep, and they will perform very well under those situations. So as always, if you have any questions about pond aeration, Get in touch with us at AmericanAeration.com, and I hope you have a great day wherever you are.